Hey team, welcome back to the channel. So we're gonna try and push out a lot more content. It may not be as polished as some of the other videos, but we went for the more is better in this case. So we're gonna start putting out a lot more tutorials. So if you like the sound of that, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell next to it, you'll get notified every time we post a video. Okay, for those who follow us on Instagram, you may have seen that we put a poll together. We wanna deliver more of what you want. So we asked our audience, what is it that you want? So we've got some great feedback from Instagram. Please guys, have a look at the, uh, the poll and comment below. What do you want to see more of? The more feedback we get from you, the more we can produce exactly what you're after. Okay, so in today's tutorial, we are gonna look at how you would box an aggressive opponent. Now, we're gonna start with a stereotype. Everyone assumes that an aggressive opponent is always gonna be shorter, they're gonna have their hands nice and high, and they're gonna walk you down. However, I have seen taller opponents with long reach that like to come forwards. Likewise, I've seen shorter uh, boxers that like to work off the back foot. So when you get into the ring and you start profiling your opponent, don't just assume that because they're shorter than you, they're gonna to wanna to rush you. Um, and if they're taller than you, they're gonna to wanna to box long. Just be ready to adapt. Okay, so we are gonna look at how you would box an aggressive opponent. So yeah, in this instance, for ease, we are gonna say that your opponent is maybe a little bit shorter. They do like to come forwards and, um, and be a typical aggressive front foot boxer. So the first thing that we need to be aware of is exactly what we've just said. Their game plan of your opponent is to take the distance, take your range, to get inside, to rough it up a little bit, and to land their bent arm shots, generally to the body if you're taller, but they'll switch up and down. They're also trying to drive you backwards against the ropes, put you in the corners, take your space away, so that they can have their way with you, and they can put you in a position maybe you don't want to be in, and a position that they thrive in. So that's what they're trying to do. How can we box against that? Now, what we need to be aware of is where we are in the ring. So we need to be aware of our space. Where are we? Where are the ropes? Where are the corners? Once we can get a feel for that, we know where the safe exit is, the safe space is, and which way to go. What we don't want to do, so point one really, is what we don't want to do is move backwards in straight lines. Let's be honest, we want to spend most of the time in the center of the ring. We have lots of space, lots of options. What we don't want to do is move back in a straight line because depending on the size of the ring, a few steps backwards is going to put us in a very poor position. It's going to put us against the ropes in corners. It's going to give us less space. So the first thing that we don't want to do is move back in straight lines. So we've got an aggressive opponent coming towards us. You might panic and you edge back, edge back, edge back. All right, next thing is you're against the ropes. So the first thing we want to do is make sure that we are moving left and right. Now. What does that look like? Up to you, up to how you box. But what we want to be sure of is we make a definite angle change. What I mean by that is if we're here, boom, it's a quite an aggressive angle change. If we just try and sidestep out of, of um, our opponent's way, then they're just going to take a little step left or right, start swinging in hooks, and we're not going to have created any safe space and we're not going to have angled out. So we want to make sure it's a definite angle first. We want to make sure we're going both ways. All right, otherwise we're going to come, become very predictable. So yeah, we're going to be probably more comfortable going to our right if we're right-handed, left if we're left-handed. Um, but we need to make sure that we can and are able to go both ways. We become, we become unpredictable. The problem you'll find boxing like this off the back foot is you don't want it to look negative. What we mean by negative is what we've just basically said, moving back, moving to the side, and then ghosting out. And then wait if your opponents come back in and then moving out again. So basically running away. What we need to do is, making, uh, is make sure we stay competitive. So what we want to be doing is, as they come in, pop, 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 fire some shots, then take that little angle change. From here, our opponent is going to have to reset their feet. Because imagine they're walking you down and you've suddenly gone to, um, let's say you've gone to their left. Now, to get any shots on you, they have to reset their feet. While they're resetting their feet, they can't punch which is exactly when we want to be punching again. So they've come marching in, we've gone pop, 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 pop. We've stepped as they reset their feet, pop, 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 pop. We move again. They're constantly resetting their feet and every time they do, we attack. Not only is this going to help us stay off the ropes, not only is it going to prevent us from being hit, 
We can also win that ring battle. We can control the center of that ring, which means we're never against the ropes and we haven't had our space taken away from us. So let's recap. We're here, an aggressive person's coming towards us. We can maybe hold the feet, pop, 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 step off, pop, 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 step across. We can go the other way. We can go pop, pop, bam, step, boom, boom, step. And we can keep moving left and right meaning our opponents want to reset their feet. Should you stand and trade with your opponent? That depends on what your strengths are um, and how you want to face this opponent. Because you can imagine an aggressive opponent is probably quite used to almost catching or chasing a back foot boxer because that's generally what probably most of them will do against this opponent. So could you stand and trade, potentially? If you feel you're strong enough to cause your opponent a problem, then yeah, stand, stand and trade maybe, then look to angle, then go again. Flip it, play with it, don't become predictable. So just a short YouTube video really on how to box an aggressive come forward boxer. Be careful though, because not every shorter boxer is gonna be aggressive and every taller boxer is gonna be a back foot boxer. So these tactics, you'll have to adapt depending on what you've got in front of you. As I mentioned, only a short, video today but we're going to bring more of these out please comment below and let us know what you want to see more day in the life of virtual pad work more tutorials the more you tell us the more we can bring you and we can give you what you want we do have two online programs we have one if you're just starting out which will go through all these tactics aggressive opponents south paws bad foot boxes it will take you through all of these different types of tactics and how to box against them it will also take you uh, through two-phase attacks and all sorts of great stuff. So if you're just starting out, that's the way to go. Link's in the description. If you want to learn more about angles and how to score more shots off of angles, not just against aggressive boxers, but maybe when you're on the front foot, check out our Right Angle program on the Dynamic Striking website. Again, that link is in the description. Thank you for your time. Don't go anywhere. YouTube right now is giving you two videos they think you will like, so go check them out.